Good morning, everybody. Today we got this meat bunker case that's running warm. Uh, so we have this bunker case running warm. I uh, just took this panel off. And first thing I noticed is that my TXV is iced up. And this liquid line is really cold. Uh, fans are not running. None of the fans are. There's no airflow whatsoever. Um, I replaced this TXV like six, seven months ago. Uh, the other TXV that was in here would not adjust at all. So we had to put this valve in here, but everything's been good with it up until today. So let's go check the rack, see what's going on with this circuit. Looks like something died in here. That's an old rack, guys. Old rack. So we're gonna be on this one. It's probably these guidance rolls in here. The defrost clock. So island. Frozen and medium temp. That one that we're working on has a uh, EPR valve. So it's A1. Let's go back here. Uh, check the liquid level. So these things. Are constantly have leaks and for some reason these stores are gonna close down here pretty soon and they just want us to patch it up he is almost empty We're gonna need to gas this thing up. Luckily, we have enough pressure in here. And uh, once we gas it up, we'll see what happens. Good luck finding the leak under the store. Already added two, we're adding another two. We're not gonna go over another six pounds today, sorry. Uh, we got a decent like that. A little bumping every now and then. It's about 20%, we're going up. So we got some liquid now. We got a solid side glass. Now we can start troubleshooting that case. Let's go ahead and go out there. So it's in here, tearing this whole thing up. Looking for the nightly, this system is not gonna have a thermostat. They're using it as a dual temp. You can see the solenoid right here. Check valves right there. So either the refrigerant will be forced to go through here, go back out to the suction, or it'll take the path of least resistance and go this way and go out to the suction. So um, we got to keep on digging, man. Kind of lost right now, not going to lie. But we'll find it. Yeah, uh, suction pressure coming back. This is the, uh, this is the suction the liquid going out to this bunker and if you 
notice, it ties in right here and it tees off to another bunker that's on the other side of the store. So this is our suction pressure before our ECR valve. So that thing is just open right now. So we should we got about 20 PSI or so. So our suction is good. I have about 190 PSI here on the liquid. So we should be good. Maybe that valve just not feeding. Let's go, let's go ahead and mess with that valve. Okay, so this is our issue. As you can see, we have about 45 pounds of pressure on the suction. And if you can see right here, So this, this power head is a pressure limiting power head. Anything about 40 PSI, it's not gonna feed. That's why we're having issues. And the issue is that right now the suction pressure is going through. Let me see if I can lift this up. Suction pressure is going through that EPR valve right there. And the reason it's going through that EPR valve is because this solenoid's not energized. This solenoid allows the suction pressure to bypass that EPR and it'll allow us to run rack pressure, which is, which is about 9, 10, 15 PSI or so. That EPR is holding us up at about 45. So that's the issue. We need to get this guy energized. Um, unfortunately, in this old store, there's no switches anywhere. Um, I already checked voltage here. We have no voltage. So there's something keeping this off. We're gonna do the moment of truth now. Look at that, our pressure went up. Let's go ahead and we're gonna use this solenoid magnet to open up this um, solenoid valve and we're gonna allow this pressure to go down to rack pressure and our valve will feed. So let's go ahead and try it out. go we're below 40 psi and our valve is definitely feeding now you can hear it you can hear everything's just gonna work out great right now give it a little bit and uh, we'll see our fans come on all right guys so this thing's been running for a few minutes now still no fans so I checked out voltage and we're only getting about 30 volts right here. Um, this guy's only getting, uh, it's not getting any voltage, to be honest with you. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on. I think there might be a breaker tripped or something. Um, the state just keeps getting better and better. Isolated right here. Checking the resistance across it. I'm trying to see if maybe we're not popping a breaker somewhere, tripping a breaker somewhere. Um, so it's not shorted got some resistance that's for our fans right there only getting 34 volts um, 120 volt coil this thing doesn't have power I don't know maybe there's a short in the case I'm gonna have to dig in all right guys I think I figured out the problem so I pulled this guy off and let me show you what I find in here Number one, I noticed that, look at that dirt pattern. And look at how far this, this, uh, this side uh, cover of this case is from the dirt pattern. You're looking at about, this should be probably like over here somewhere. So somebody, whoever put these pallets of water here, smacked this case and shifted it over. Now, look what's underneath here. There's our refrigerant piping, and here's our power. This is our power coming in. So if we follow it, look, this was right here. You can see by the memory. Now let's look over. So if you look down here, look where the drain is. This is the drain. Look how much it moved over. That's at least, I don't know, on a good day, three inches. And then look what I found also while I was in here. What's that back there? 
<laughs> there's a switch. So I wonder if somewhere, somehow, uh, some wires might have gotten crunched up or something. Um, I really can't tell from from in here. So maybe something in there. I'm not exactly sure, but let's go ahead and try that switch. Maybe that switch got moved or something. Let me put that up. Put that solenoid coil back. There's solenoid hooked up again. Got the fans hooked up again. And. Uh, shit. Sorry. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip this switch. And we're gonna hopefully see everything work. There we go. Let's see what happens. Ram, come off the plant. Look at that. All because it got bumped over. There we go. So, yep. Bumped over a few inches. At least we found the switch. I saw them. Like, I saw the first one. There we go. And I'm like, it's so hard to see something. Fully operational. And we're already at 40 degrees or so. So, be all right. Okay, so this case is back, uh, back to normal. We're at about four degrees. It's still pulling down. If uh, you look at the manufacturing date right here, this is from May of 1999. So yeah. Anyways, we're dropping temp. We're about to get out of here.